Hello and welcome. This is Swati, and you're watching Peace News International. Now starting with the headlines. International Women's Day celebrated with all women dignitaries at the Harmony House in Leicester. The theme was, let's all be, each for equal. A workshop on fear or love was organized at the Brahma Kumari's Meditation Museum in Maryland. Author Diane L. Hayworth addressed the gathering. And the Brahma Kumaris in Singapore organized an exhibition named Shiv Darshan. Speaker of Parliament and CEO of Hindu Endowment Board graced the occasion. Now the news in detail. The Brahma Kumaris Harmony House in Leicester celebrated International Women's Day with a program that included a panel discussion. It was the first time that the newly elected MP for Leicester East, Claudia Webb, had attended a program at Harmony House, which is within her constituency. The event was opened with Yo Dance for physical, mental, and emotional health by Katie. This was followed by a video message on Sacred Places and Role of Women by BK Jayanti, Director of Brahma Kumaris in Middle East and European countries. A sacred space means a space which is different, a space which is up above, a space that's able to help you, uplift you, heal you, and also bring you closer to the divine. Coming closer to the self, means I'm able to understand what's going on within. A sacred space is created with vibrations. And so in that space where there are pure, healthy, powerful vibrations that can heal, then it's possible to find yourself and it's possible to go further up and experience the love of the divine. So my hope is that everyone who is here today will experience the sacred space that the center offers, but also carry away this inspiration to create a sacred space wherever it is you are. The panel discussion was on, let's all be each for equal. Baroness Sandeep Burma, Chair for UN Women National Committee in the UK, BK Maureen, Program Director of the Brahma Kumaris at Global Cooperation House, and Claudia Webb, MP for Leicester East were panelists. The panel was interviewed by BK Philippa Blackham, a journalist and former BBC radio producer. I, I wonder, Claudia, whether you whether you feel as you have so recently come into the House of Commons, whether you are still in a place of of breaking new ground and, mm -hmm. and establishing new ways of doing things as a woman MP. How have you found that? You know, I go around Parliament and there are so many pictures of the House of Commons being totally male. And that is almost shocking to see it in person, to know that it's taken so long uh, for there to have been even the first woman MP, Member of Parliament, let alone to where we, ha where we are now. So it's a huge uh, transformation in that respect, uh, but we still have a long way to go. And of course, um, for us in the, in the Labour Party, in order to get to that 50%, we had to implement policies like all women shortlist. And gender inequality, I mean, Sherry Blair was very bravely saying this morning, we are actually worse off this year than we were last year. It's going to take us 255 years to actually reach the same pay scales as men at the rate we're going at. Yeah, it's a retreat mm -hmm. centre where people really feel a sense of change in their lives. You know, it's, it's uh, something that gives people comfort, that gives people a feeling of being nurtured from the inside, you know, gives them that, that, that feeling of being safe. We're talking about safe spaces, sacred spaces, and not too many of those spaces exist in the world, actually. The highlight of this event was a presentation followed by questions with Commander of Royal Air Force Group, Captain Jo Lincoln, who shared her vision of a values-led RAF. If I wasn't feeling mentally well, 
would have I have felt, particularly being a female officer, brave enough to tell my boss that actually I wasn't okay. Now moving on to Maryland, USA. We are living through times of great social and economic and technological upheaval. People everywhere are understandably feeling anxious, insecure, and worried. To discuss more on fear or love, a workshop was organized at the Brahma Kumaris Meditation Museum. The event was addressed by Diane L. Hayward, who is a heart-centered success coach, speaker, TV host, author, and founder of the Be Love Principles. Meditation helps biologically break um, the chemicals of fear. You all know the difference between what it feels like in your body to be happy, that feels a certain way, and then what it feels like to be stressed, that feels a certain way. Those are biochemical signatures, that's chemistry. That's why if you go to a physician and you have a particular kind of ailment and they give you a medication, what are they trying to do? Change your chemistry. I'm also not a pharmacist, by the way. Diane also spoke about combining traditional coaching techniques with deep spiritual truths to guide everyone to their inner wisdom and enjoy a life of more love, peace, and freedom. The event concluded with a meditation session. And as you breathe love in, you can imagine your energy higher and higher it is, as it is charged with compassion and peace and joy. The Brahma Kumaris in Singapore, in collaboration with the main Shiva temple in Singapore, Sri Sivan Temple, organized an exhibition. The significance of Shivratri and the five elements of nature were explained at this exhibition. Speaker of Parliament, Tan Chuan Jin, and CEO of Hindu Endowment Board, Rajasegar, visited the Brahma Kumari booth. They were given a brief introduction of the exhibition on the theme, Shiv Darshan, Panchabhuta Thalangal. BK Lakshmi, coordinator of the Brahma Kumaris in Singapore, explained about the spiritual significance of the event. There was also a hologram display, an exhibition on Raj Yoga. This attracted thousands of devotees and help them understand about the Self and Supreme Almighty Godfather. Now moving on towards Madrid, Spain. B.K. Payal, coordinator of Brahma Kumaris at San Fernando in Trinidad and Tobago, was honored with International Excellence Award 2020 in the World Interfaith Peace Conference, organized by World Organization for Peace. B.K. Payal was honored for her contribution for the upliftment of global, cultural, and human values and the promotion and protection of world peace and harmony. Director of ISKCON Spain, Yadu Nandana Swami, Acharya Dr. Lokesh Muni, founder of Ahimsa Vishwa Bharati, Paramjit Singh Chandhok, executive member of Bangla Sahib Gurudwara, CM Imam Umer Ahmed Ilyasi, Chief Imam of India, Bhikkhu Sangha Senaji and other prominent dignitaries were also present at the event. A group of 26 yoga students from various countries such as UK, Germany, Hong Kong and USA visited Shantidham, the Brahma Kumari's Tamil Nadu Zonal Headquarters in Chennai. They participated in a meditation session on meditation techniques for longevity. The session was conducted by Dr. B.K. Swati, coordinator of value education programs of Brahma Kumaris in Chennai. Everyone actively participated in group sharing and also experienced a joy of value-based activities. That's all for now. Thanks for watching Peace News International and have a great day ahead.